السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين Muslim brothers and sisters is something I need you to understand I need you to understand this first let me share with you uh, some of my experience what I saw with my eyes and heard with my ears there was a day when I went to a masjid to go and make my salah so I should go and pray so after we have prayed with my Muslim brothers and all the people there we have already prayed we have uh, prayed and everyone made dua and everyone of uh, almost everyone I'll say is done with his dua at that time then the man raised up I said Muslim brothers uh, this who can help me with this and that and that and that he said I need assistance the man was uh, somehow very very you understand depressed and that man from seeing him you know that could maybe I don't know where, but from seeing him you know that indeed that man is facing a really tough time perhaps I don't know maybe he's lying or not I don't know so after people contributing money giving him money giving him money then the man left after he left not even after he left I think yes after he left then the following day or maybe two three days then the Imam stood then after we made our prayer again that is after three days of perform our salah then after everyone have made the dua then the Imam stood, stood up he was saying that some of these people who come to the masjid to come and seek for assistance begging people to help them some of them are liars so the imam added that we shouldn't give to whom whosoever come to the mosque to seek for assistance or money he said we should not give them then i was thinking that ah, why is it that you won't give them the money you should know that whosoever could drop his you understand just just look at what i'll say and this is an advice whosoever comes to you for assistance you understand whosoever comes to you for assistance you should try to help him this is from me whosoever comes to you for assistance you should try to help him because no one will drop his self-respect and walk on up to you you understand to ask for something from you or you should stand up in public where everyone prays and he knows that definitely one day someone will see him passing and say that is that man who was asking for money or seeking for something from people to help him or assistance from someone no one will drop his self-respect and come in the public asking for assistance no you should understand that and even though it's a lie you should try to give just give if you give at the end of the day what do you expect what are your expectations what do you pursue you are seeking for Allah's mercy Allah's mercy and also you are seeking for reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so what I, my advice to you is that no one knows who is lying and who is saying the truth because some people truly they will just pick up a lie just to come and ask for something listen back for people this and this and this and that but you should know that they truly need it if they don't need it they won't come and lie to you if they don't need assistance 
they won't come and lie to you. Truly, they may add something. Some may say, "Ah, uh, I uh, the car car hit his uh, sister or something. She's in the hospital. This and this and that." But you should understand that they truly need that money. Some may add lies, but they need that money. So you should try to make sure that you help people. Try to make sure that you give. Do not be selfish. Do not be selfish. Try to give. Because when you give, your reward is from Allah. But I'm advising you that whatsoever you give, you should give it for the sake of Allah. So as to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. Because whatsoever you give, do not expect any reward from human beings or thank you from someone. No. Some human beings, they are ingrid. You may give him today, tomorrow he will see you and do as if he didn't know he, he don't even know you. You may see him with a car tomorrow, riding with a car and you are trekking with your legs and you look at you and pass. That's that's it. That's how some human beings are. But he have forgotten that you tried to help him yesterday. So you should understand that Allah is the only one who can pay you back. So try to help. Do not look at uh, people and say, yes, uh, some are lying, some are liars, some are that. Just keep that aside and try to help. And you expect your reward from Allah. That's it. Even though they are liars or not, that is for them. But your reward is from Allah. Even if you give. That is if you give. That is if you give. If you give, then your reward is from Allah. Even Allah said himself, himself. Allah said himself. He said, Allah said, I'm Fakr, Ya Ibn Adam. Allah said, I'm Fakr, Ya Ibn Adam. Umfik Aleka. He said, Spend all sons of Adam, so I will spend on you. So you should spend. Give out. It is Sadaqah. Give out. You understand? Try to help people. Your reward is from Allah. You understand? So try to give. Try to make sure that you you strive hard so much. You work so much in this dunya so you get the akhirah. This dunya is just for some time, temporarily. You understand? Temporary, just so, so, for some time. After this world is the next, that is the hereafter, which is forever. So we should try to give. You understand? Please, please, please try to give. Do not be selfish. Or just uh, cook up a story and say some are liars. No, don't join them. Even though some are liars or some they speak the truth, just give for the sake of Allah. That's it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah for today. See you next time.